Right, so today I'm going to be continuing with my FIFA 21 manager career mode. Uh, last episode I beat Wolves and Sheffield United to kick off the Premier League season. And uh, I also signed Cherky and I think I'm in the process of signing Jude Bellingham. I don't think I've fully signed him yet, but uh, in fact let's check that now. I know I fully signed Cherky, but I don't know whether I fully signed um, Lucky Bellingham yet. So, yeah, that's a bit of a weird one. Yeah, so I've signed Turkey, but I think I'm still delegating a contract with uh, Ballingham. So, we should get that signing done in this episode. Uh, I've also got a few more goalkeepers uh, in the transfer hub. I think I did put these top three goalkeepers in last episode, but I've added Kelleher and Ramsdale as well. Um, so I'll try and sign one of these goalkeepers at least today. Uh, I want to try and get their overalls and stuff so I know how much to pay for them. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we've got, uh, a contract runnel with, uh, Bellingham. So that signing should be done today as well. Uh, but yeah, let's get into our first match. I can't actually remember who we've got next. Pretty sure it's Leicester. Right, straight up, I'm not selling Noble. I'm not selling a club legend. I don't care how much you offer me, this club legend is not going anywhere. Now, Af Afalayan, or however you say his name, I'm glad to sell. Just saying we've got a bit more in the transfer budget, but Noble, no. You can do one if you think I'm selling him. Right, so we now have Bellingham from Borussia Dortmund. Where hey. Right, so I was right, right in assuming we have uh, Leicester. What's the bet that Vardy puts a hat trick in? Oh, Haller. I know we recently sold Haller, so good luck at uh, Ajax, Haller. Probably not going to be watching, but I don't care. I'm going to accept this one, I reckon. Right, let's see our monthly scouting reports. Uh, see who we can get in our youth squad. Anyone with a good potential, I'm going to say I'm going to sign. So that's pretty much every player. Uh, I might sign this silver, just so then I can get him to his potential and then sell him. <laughs> You're fucked if I'm signing you, mate. Fucking 65 potential. Uh... I'm hoping for like some Italian goalkeepers in my other saves. Um, Italian goalkeepers uh, like reach their overall quicker and stuff, so they're like better. Right, wasn't there one more? Yes, there was. Um, yeah, let's sign this Riley Dripper. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've got uh, not enough room anymore. He's quite high overall already. Nearly set. Yes. Let's promote you to the senior squad. Nearly 70 overall, pal. Yes. Well, I can get one more person in, at least. Uh, yeah, it's probably going to be Edward Holt that I'm going to get in. The other two can do one. Oh, don't tell me the postman's going to knock on the door. I've just seen him come to my window now. Right, we'll come to the door. If he knocks on the window or knocks on the door, I'm not going to be happy. Oh, good, he didn't. Yeah, I wouldn't have been happy if I had to interrupt this stream. 
Like just for someone knocking at the door. Right, let's do this little training thing. There we go. Don't even have to do it fully, really, do I? Cameras trained on one man. A hat trick in his last game. Will he prosper once more? Does that surprise you for Mikel Antonio? That he scored a hat trick in his last game. I mean, Mikel Antonio can give you that, like, Aguero a run for his money. Before anyone goes, oh, no, he couldn't. That was a joke. That was a bit of banter, you know. That wasn't me being serious. I don't actually think that Antonio could give us Aguero a run for his money. Well, although if there's one thing I do think... Well, I do actually think is that Declan Rice and Suchak are the best partnership in the Prem. Disagree, bite me. Well, a hat trick in his last game. Defenders beware. Concentrate on your job. They will take great pleasure in stopping the. I'm going to try and get another hat trick in this game for someone. Don't know who, but I'm going to try and get another hat trick. I don't know why I let these clips play. I guess it's so I can just chat shit and then have to play the game while I've chat shit for a bit. Probably save kept Vardy to be honest. Usually in my saves they like sound like Man City or something, or like fucking Frankfurt or whatever. Like usually in my other saves, Jack Stevens gets sold to West Ham. Granted, I'm controlling West Ham. That's not the, the point. Begins. Oh, you bastard. There we go. Got the ball straight up. Get on, Piat. Well, attacking possibilities. Could be. Great up goal. Get on, Piat. No. I didn't go to do that celebration. I I went to do another celebration. Why are you doing that one, Piat? That's what you get if you make a mistake against my West Ham. Capitalise. And bam, bam, Piat gets it into the back of the goal. The opening goal of the game, then. Oh, Bowen could have got that then. Banned. Harvey Barnes. Dennis Pryat. Well, can they exploit the space out ball. wide? Vardy. So it annoys me when people Pass. call Kufal Sufal. But no oh, you wouldn't call Soup Coop, would you? Same like with people who call Nike Nike. Like when you're riding a bike, do you ride a bike or a bikey? That's basically the common sense that people who call Nike are using, isn't it? That's well. Able to close down the shot. Jared Bowen. Oh, it's on but the no, why? Why right, get a brace for yourself, pal? Oh, again, again really? You're gonna hit the post again? I swear this football was hired by um but he lasted Racing to prevent it, the out. ball going in more than once, surely. Head on, Fabianski. Well, 
Antonio. You, you know, you run up with the ball. Get it in the back of the net. Yes, lad. Oh, me, Mystic Meg. I've just predicted me getting a goal. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back and then through on goal. Do you go for placement? So, oh, at the moment, Mikel Antonio is the top scorer in the league. That could all change in the other games. But now it's Mikel Antonio. It should be. Tielemans. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Antonio. Making progress. Well, body in the way. Why? Really good attacking play. Straightforward piece of Well, of course, he captures it. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Delivered into the area here. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, I think it's because I tried to chip it as well. When I go to chip the ball, it never works on videos. If I do it off video, it will, it will sometimes work. Then when I try and do it like anywhere other than off the video, then it just won't work. I bet you if I try doing it on on camera on Peaky Tackler's channel like when we eventually start that one up, probably not going to work. As soon as I do it. Like off camera, it'll be like, oh yay, yeah, it's gonna work. Again, we've seen it before. And he's in. And a goal. Another goal for Antonio. Keep on forgetting that I want to do a specific celebration. I'm just letting these celebrations play, apart from the pilot one, where he did the wrong celebration. The celebration that I want to do in this video, at least once, probably see quite a lot of. So that is my new ce uh, favourite celebration. We'll see it when I get a next goal. If I get another goal. Oh, in with a chance! Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. That could have been a fourth goal. Let that one play through again. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Payet? That was a terrible shot. Antonio. And failed to keep himself on side, unfortunately. I don't really care because uh, offside's being less of a pain in the ass this game. And I wouldn't have got the ball in anyway, so... Not really complain. I only just realised I've got a viewer uh, that's watching live. Don't know how long they've been in chat or whatever. Hello to that one live viewer. What is it with shit fucking shots today? It wasn't his best effort, was it? But... I bet he thought I what is that? On. Why not try a shot?
Jenne. Here's Tielemans. A run up there, Craswell. I don't know why. I thought that was Stevens for a second there until so I read the name. Declan Rice. Great challenge. He got nothing but I don't know how I can confuse Craswell for uh, Stevens, but we'll go with it. Vardy. Perez. Yeah, when you uh, face up against Upa Makanu in a West Ham kit. Why do you have to blow the whistle now? Of course he um, blows the whistle right there. Right where I'm about to attack. There's a slow day at the office and then there's this. Usually, Jamie Vardy would have scored about five by now. And the game begins. Are there any substitutions I want to make? I think the team looks alright at the moment. Like then, none of them are that tired, so I think it's safe just to keep all the players on and then see what happens. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. So Bosloy. Tremendous challenge. Over the touchline for a throw in. Well, that's a moment. A wide pass to Cresswell. Then you had Declan Rice to pass to, and you pass it to Cresswell, who had someone marking him. Why? I wasn't even aiming at Cresswell, I was aiming at Rice. But oh no, Hyatt decides to pass it to someone who's got him, someone marking him. Well, he puts it over the crossbar. He should have thought composure. You've already got a goal, Pyatt. That doesn't mean you need to start slacking, mate. But I could try and get like a really cheap goal. I like running up to the goalkeeper and then like when he kicks it, it bounces off Antonio. Like it's happened before. Could run onto it like, so I managed to sign and back, um, back pay. And uh, I didn't manage to do that, and then it went into the goal. Impossible. I think it's just when uh, the goalkeeper's doing a free kick. Actually, lets you go near the goalkeeper. And a socially distance him from him. Lucky that was offside. Offside. I'm going to keep Craswell on for a bit longer. I don't want to put Masuaku on just yet. I think it's situations like this where you can go really close to him when they kick the ball. Obviously, that was a bad example. I didn't so many chances. If they put half of them away, it could be a cricket score. Ricardo Pereira. Options in the middle. Are Jose Perez. Oh, good use of the ball. Well, nearly shaving the crossbar with that powerful. Oh, about how many sh shots we've taken. Bloody hell, Leicester are worse. And they're making a change. Again, I don't really want to put uh, Noble on just yet. I want to wait until the stamina of the players are a bit lower. Was he considering that most of them are still in green? Well, just a point yeah, the they're pretty much still quite fresh. Like. Clean through he was then, but he's fluffed his lines late. Well, he just put his head down, Derek, and hit it. He's got to do better than that. I 
minute there are going to be more off-target shots than there are there are years that most of Aston Villa's squad against Liverpool in the FA Cup the other night uh, I lived. I came out like I had a fucking stutter, but yeah. Yes, I've got it back in the net again. Well, Patrick sort of by Antonio. What a performance. Well, Derek, got to see the celebration again. You, you will see this celebration that I'm on about at some point. Indeed. It's time to put no one. Now Zinchenko. Barnes. Running with the ball confidently. Can he play it in? James Madison. Head on, Stephen. But tidied up. An unforced error, you've got to say. Madison. Tielemans. He made it look simple, really. Happy oh, he made it look simple, really. Save, really. I actually hate how smug the commentators are in this game. Actually does my edit. On his own, with only the keeper to beat, and still he's Making missed the it. Pets. Well, he had one thought, power. He should have thought composure. At this point, I might as well just not go for goal. Ricardo Pereira. Just ten minutes to go. Tielemans. Well, they couldn't keep it. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? And fired against the crossbar. There's another reason why I don't want to go for goal. It either goes extremely off target or it hits a crossbar. Very rarely goes in. Like compared to how many shots I'm getting, like off target in that, the ones that go on target, only four of them have gone in out of let's check here yeah four of them have gone in out of the six that have gone on target and i like how i've got 17 shots and only six of them are on target that just shows how cursed this game is ricardo pereira he's got space Madison. Oh, they've lost it. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Noble. And in with a real chance. Will he? Oh, oh he can get a fourth goal. goal Boom. 5-0, I'll take that. I highly doubt I'm going to get another goal within the next three in-game minutes. So quick to get out from the back. Once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. <laughs> My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. And just the one minute left in normal time here. And that is going to be all for this game. And it's going to... So I might have to try and get a backup striker. Give us your thoughts on their performance, Lee. Or pull up one of my youth squad. Athelayan sold. I think he sold anyway. I think it said he was sold. Um, Alan might be sold. I'm going to need another backup striker, aren't I? If uh, Antonio gets injured, we fucked.
guess I could always try and make one of my youth squad people that I've already called up. In fact, the only youth squad person I've called up into a striker. Because I don't think he was a striker. I think he was a cam. Oh, we've got a cup game against Crawley Town. <laughs> Bad luck leads. Hey. Burnley. B Burnley wants Sebastian Haller. But you're taking the mick. I'm going to accept it, see who takes him. I highly doubt Burnley are. So it's going to be Atletico Madrid that are going to take him. Oh, Lanzini. Does it last see who wants him? Who? Who? No. Give me a team that I actually know. Like, no thank you. <laughs> After this cup game, I want to check the... You know... We've got a final report on uh, a few of our players. Yeah, there was another goalkeeper that I wanted to get, but yeah. Yeah, I don't really think I want a 59 rated goalkeeper, thank you very much. Not bad. 61 rated. But let's check it in the, um, the transfer hub, because I might get a bit confused. Mate, you're 66. In fact, I might try out a few of the youth squads now that I think about it. A few of the youthy players. Uh, let's see who I want to actually try out, though. So I don't actually know who is, uh, you know, like a youth player that's in the actual squad. Because I know a few of them have been like loaned out. Some that I've loaned out, like Harrison Ashby, and some that were already loaned out, like Akinola. Uh, could try this guy. And a no, not Elise, no. 56 rated. Cardosa, I could try out as well. Well, let's see how many strikers I've got. One. Yeah, we definitely need a backup striker. So let's make a few transfers here. I definitely want a goalkeeper. You know, at least a backup goalkeeper. But I don't. I don't mind whether they're like higher rated than Fabianski, and we can use him in the first team, or lower rated, and then use him as a backup striker or goalkeeper, even. There we go. Yeah, why not? Let's go with uh, Pram strikers between twenty. Or, no, sixteen and twenty-three. I thought Gabriel Jesus was much older than that. In fact, I've got a good strike right there. Um, I don't actually think he's in the game. Hold on. Uh, I know what team he plays for. We just find the league. Oh wait, no, I think he's in the re no. I don't think this team are actually in a league. I think they're in the rest of the world. Yes, they are. Let's see. Uh, no, he's not actually in the game. But I'll take this guy. Because uh, why not? See how good he is. 
Uh, is there anyone else I want to try and get? Uh, let's see. I don't think there's anyone else in this category here. Let's try a championship team because usually those championship teams can, you know, produce some quite good players. Adam Armstrong, maybe. Gotta consider my options here. Definitely not Mason Bennett. Like, any Millwall player can do one. And Charles Tom Bradshaw. Fucking Balans. Van Branten. Yeah, they, they're the only, like, two good-looking strikers, or, like, best ability looking strikers uh let's try the prem as well because why not gotta make sure they're a striker i could go with shea adams but craig dawson might try and volley his head into the top bins again Uh, I could try and go with Ben Take, maybe. Liam Dallop, maybe. So I could go with Olivier Gr uh, Griud. I don't know how you say his surname, but the only thing that's stopping me is his age. Because he's so old, he might start decreasing quite fast. Well, anyway, let's. That, that's what I'm going to do for now. Like, all I'm going to put in. And then I'll try. I'll do this game against Corey. Show leads how it's really done. I might do another game after that. And then do a few sign ins. Right, let's see who's in chat. I'm interested to see who's in chat. Uh, where's my Twitch app on my phone there? By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, bit of selfless promotion here. I doubt you've got this far into the video, but if you have, subscribe to or follow my Twitch. I nearly said subscribe because I'm so used to saying subscribe. Right, um, let me turn my phone volume down because I don't really want it echoing. Right, now I can see chat, so... In fact, there's no point really doing that. Tra Cameras trained on one man. After four goals in his last match, what next? This is EA TV. And a warm welcome from one of the newer venues here in the football mad capital of England. We're at the Xbox is down and st uh, I'm Derek Ray. down into start, start call starting call to sound like a jet engine. Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Carabao Cup. It's and I'm going to let this play through a little bit. Well, thank you, Derek. Well, you look at the host being such big favourites in this game. Just wonder how their opponents approach the game. I think the key to this is keep it really tight in the first 20 minutes. Try and frustrate those home fans. And then hopefully you can... That's what I was going to do. I was going to try out a few of the youth players. Be fucking late now. And the starting for Ardosa the should have reminded me. Right, I'm considering putting Saeed Benrahma on midway through the game. Either replace him with Pyatt or Bowen. Logical approach, really, wouldn't it? Um, so I'll probably be during the second half. 
and this is the initial 11 for and the on how everything goes well, the maybe the first the half for the counter attack and then on if Pyatt Sage gets game, yeah I would say so Derek they're comfortable defending in numbers organized and obviously or and then if Bowen gets a bit too tired for a smash and grab style right, we don't need the pep talk from Crawley Town let's go and so the match is underway Rice. Annoy Crawley Town a little bit. Bully the League Two team, because why not? Stevens on the ball. Is it bad that I may or may not have edited Jack Stevens' wiki page the other day to say that he was on loan at West Ham? And scored 420 goals in well, five games. Is that is that a bad advanced. thing to do? I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Lee. What do you think? Funny thing is, I actually tweeted a screenshot of it to him. But really, Crawley Town have just scored against us. You're you're taking the piss. No, not having that. I'm not having that. No, no, skip. No, not pause. Skip. Obviously it's a tap in Derek, but it's the pace. I'm not the happy ball about ball. that, no. A predator's instinct, just waiting for the ball to come to him. How have Le how have Leicester not scored against us, but Crawley Town have? Oh. No. Overcooked that one. Yeah, Fabianski, you're not the first team goalkeeper anymore. As soon as I get a new goalkeeper, they're becoming the first team goalkeeper. So Boss Lloyd. On two track. Yeah, that should have been a penalty. Give me the penalty, you stupid bastard. You not booked him? I want to see if he's booked him. No, he hasn't. Still can't believe that they have scored against me in the first ten minutes. Like, come on, Antonio, even. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Might have been a penalty, but one all now. Thank you, Antonio. Thank you to whoever got me the penalty. Well, as we see, this is probably the best angle. He picked his spot. He didn't change his mind, and the keeper's got no chance. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. It is to be a throw in. Vladimir Kuval. So Bosloy. On the ball, Mikhail Antonio. Lost possession. Oh, lost possession. Well done. I know I've lost possession. You don't need to tell me. But attacking possibilities. Punch Probably going to be offside. Oh, maybe not. I thought that was way offside. Oh. Maybe the referee just doesn't want to be a balan today. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate, and the pressure comes as he knew it would. But it's the maybe, maybe the referees want to give it a bit of a rest today. Maybe they're thinking it's a new year, it's a new me. Let's not give off sides. Head on, Stevens. Rice. I knew they wouldn't be like 1 0 up for long. Right, 
next goal I get, I'm going to do the celebration that I've been talking about non-stop since the start of the video. Just because... It's funny to score against a League 2 team. Now can they make something happen? Well, since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. That's a foul. That's a bit pathetic. West Ham have had the lion's share of possession. And what that does, it just relaxes the team. If you've got the ball, you enjoy the ball. And they're turning it into goals as well. Antonio, opportunity it is. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. And it goes! A three-goal cushion! I might have done the this wrong thing. Yeah, I accidentally did the wrong uh, joystick. That was the well, last one. Brilliant, positive football. That's what the fans pay their money to come and see. What a goal. And it becomes well, five one. Say, an incredible first half performance. That score line tells you all you need to know. I think the celebration that I want to do is um RT and then the left stick the uh, to the left twice. We we'll see in a second. He's in with a chance. That is top-notch goalkeeping. He had to reach in with his hand. Yeah, it's all about reading the pace of the ball and the player's feet. When do I go down? When do I strip the ball? Did a brilliant job then. It should be. And he couldn't take advantage of that opportunity from close range. I'm aflame from saying that was close. He's gone for power and I say it too much in this series. I don't really want that was close to become my new cat phrase. Oh, so you're gonna hear it quite a lot less. Have they given him too much space? Well, no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Real danger. Can they convert? That's well blocked. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Can he finish? Will they profit from this situation? Offside. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. It would be offside. Well, the goal will not stand. It is offside. Yeah, good football there, but just straight offside. Davis. And with that, the first time right, 4-1 at the close. start. Okay, if I was playing a Premier League team. Did when we're playing Crawley Town. Bit of shit, really, isn't it? I'm hoping Port Vale win, because they're playing Millwall. I doubt they will, but I'm hoping Port Vale win. Probably Sheffield United are winning, not gonna lie. Um, Cardiff City are beating West Brom. Okay, that's a bit of a surprise. But not really. West Brom do have Sam Allardyce. And most of their best players come from West Ham, like Ian Garner and Snodgrass. But let's put Ben Rama on instead of uh, Pyatt, I reckon. also put Masuaku on as well. That should be it at the moment. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. 
Davis. And the right place to cut out the pass. Well, he likes to run at them. And able to get a body in the way. Couldn't keep it. A highly significant piece of transfer news. Now official, Alexandre Lacazette, I can tell you, has completed his move to Inter. Yeah, it's an exciting transfer, isn't it, Derek? I think he'll add a lot of quality to his new club, and you'd expect him to have a real impact from the off. Well, listen to that, Derek. It's been a pan. It was a nailed-on pen. The ref didn't know. Referee's blind. That was certainly worse than what was actually given a penalty for. Now, will the cross work out for them? That's the clearance that was called for. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Can they take advantage of the situation? I like how, like in 2020 slash 2021, right? You can get fouled for hugging someone or potentially, and but you can't get fouled for like proper booting someone in the skull and possibly giving that person compassion. How does that work? What do you think is worse, right? Giving someone a hug, knowing that they've probably tested negative coronavirus, or um, like proper toe punting something in the forehead, possibly giving them a major concussion. Like surely the concussion is worse than. You know what, Let, let's just not bother with this celebration. I keep on getting the thing wrong. And that's just, oh, well, let's just forget about the celebration. The I'll get it right in a minute. Suchek. So Bosloy. Antonio. Chances on. Hunting a hat trick. He was. That was like way offside. So off target. That's what I meant. Already tell that this is going to be a really long game. Really long video. We're already on like 50 minutes. Pretty much, and I still want to do a third game and have a few well, signings. Sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's West Ham United facing Fulham. Yeah, game after game, the season is relentless, but players just love to play. I'll try the, the new qu uh, quick sympathy. Should be a belter. Next game. I mean, it's Fulham. I mean, granted, we're playing Crawley Town right now, but to take it away. it's Fulham in the Prem. Well, Could win that quite easily. What a high quality stop it was. That was probably going to be offside anyway. Oh no. He gets ready and makes a really good save. And up for grabs off the keeper. Well, that's the end of that for now. Nichols. The referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. That wasn't a foul, he tripped. Can he finish? But it wasn't a taxing save. Read it superbly. Danger here as he runs at them. Well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as a goal at the other end. Yeah, another goal now. I'm going to get that celebration. Will he find the net? And thwarting his Antonio, you could have got that then. Why am I running away from the goal? 
that's why, because I wouldn't have got it in. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Delivered into the area here. An example of how to press. And a fine tackle. Well, that'll be a that's what I thought, ref. And five minutes to go. Possession lost. Hug me off again, Crawley Town, and I'll break all your players' legs. I was just about to say, if Fabianski misses that, he's definitely not being the bloody first team goalkeeper after this game. But if he would have made it 5 2, zoning Fabianski as a goalkeeper if he did that. And he's clear his lines. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Real chance. Oh, there it is. It's one goal. Yes, I've got the right celebration. This is it. Fifty-one minutes, and I've finally got the celebration that I wanted. Boom! You're gonna see a lot of that celebration. I'll set back now, as I've won. I mean, try scoring five goals in about three minutes. Or even less. Nichols. And that's it, the final whistle, and the hosts will go through. That's a canter, Derek, too. That's a canter. So easy for them. I mean, that was a given. Who do you expect to win out of West Ham and Crawley Town? And to be fair, you would have expected Leeds to beat Crawley Town. He didn't. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well. Looked really sharp. Constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful. One FA Cup fixture I really didn't understand that from last night was Tottenham versus Marines. In Marines was pretty much just the local Sainsbury's workers forming a football team and facing one of the best teams in the world. Like, if any team can just be created and join the Premier League, I might as well make the Peaky Tacklers a real life thing and win the FA Cup for that. Like that, that's basically what's happening, isn't it? You're just getting like pro clubs teams and and random Sainsbury's or Tesco's workers to join the team. They can face Tottenham and get their ass whooped. Right, so let's do this game against Fulham. In fact, let's make those few sign-ins now, because that's quite close to the deadline. And knowing me, I will probably forget to do these sign-ins. So it's probably a better idea to do them now. Uh, let's see, who do I want? I'm going to say Kelleher as a goalkeeper. Uh, approach to buy. I know Kelleher isn't that high rated, but we, we can always train him. Might try and get Ramsdale as well, and then use Kelleher as a backup, backup goalkeeper. A bit like Liverpool did. did. Let's see here. You want uh, good old Nathan Trot and uh, about one mil for him. Uh, 
Why don't you want Nathan Trot? They're, they are literally worth the same and have the same overall. Like, what difference is it going to make? You could say that about me, but still. Still. Like, same age, same overall, same value. What is the difference, Clock? Wagwan Kelleher. Uh, your current wages of that okay. A rotation, I'm gonna say. Four years, I'll take that. Might not be five years, but at least we've got quite a lengthy contract there. Good because I don't want to release clause either. I'm going to go with a bit more just to make him happy. I'm going to go with double that plus a 50,000 starting signing bonus. And a 75,000 uh, bonus for every. F I know. So I'm going to say 10 appearances for that. Um, just because it makes a bit. Wait. Just because I need a striker, I'm going to say let's sign Adam Armstrong. I don't know how much I'm going to have to offer for him, but it's good. I might as well try and be wrong than try and then not have the chance to come again until January. Let's try... 4,100, in fact, 250, or, and, um, who would fit Blackburn the most? Ben Johnson? I'll sign a bit more, uh, probably about, let's say about that much. Okay, up a bit more. Okay, there we go. That's alright. Now negotiate. I don't actually know what his wages are. So again, this one might be a bit difficult. Since he's like 10 mil. I'd probably assume it's around about the same as Jack Stevens. Around about 20k. Portland's probably a safe bet. I assume he's quite highly rated. 70s, 80s. Well, that's actually a good deal, five years. Most players only go with like two or three years. Yeah, that's alright. That's fine by me, mate. Look, now this is a difficult bit because they're not helping me here. Um, oh, with 22k plus a 980 sign and bonus, 80k sign and bonus, and for every 10 goals, I'm gonna say 130 bonus, 30k bonus. Okay, okay. I was a bit off. By bit off, I mean way off. Like, he wants almost twice the amount I uh, offered him. That should be alright for now. Um, in fact, I'm going to get Lewis, uh, Liam uh, Delap as well from City. 
just so I've got a backup backup striker. What two more can get us and uh maybe uh sell Nathan Trot as well. If that works for him. Why does no one want Nathan Trot? What you all got against Nathan Trot? I think yeah, I think selling or buying him for two mil might have been a bit over. So I might have overpaid there. But I'm not actually bothered. I've got him. Oh. That's, that's probably a safe bet. You're seven. Out. I even finished a college course yet. So probably best to. as a prospect. Okay. Flash forward then. Out having to worry about being a main squad. I feel like I've massively overpaid by paying two mil. Right, I think that should be it for now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make that it for now. And then any other player I want to get, I'll just get in January. Right, let's try out a few of my new players here. In fact, let's check the table before I go into this game. Um, so, Liverpool are at the top uh, with 12 points. Then there's Arsenal with 10. Then there's us with 9, but we've only played 3 games. Um, United are 4th. And then City round out the top 5. Again, they've only played 3 games. Let's see who rounds out the bottom 3. <laughs> Spurs, Villa and Fulham. Bloody hell, that is, that is shocking. If there's any London team you would expect to be in the bottom three, it would be um, not the FA Cup. Uh, it would be West Ham, or at the moment, Arsenal. Where are Arsenal? Oh, they're second. I already said that, didn't I? That actually surprises me that Spurs uh, somehow... Uh, just above Fulham and Villa. <laughs> With how the league's going in real life, I'm surprised Villa are down there, to be honest, at the bottom. But I'm surprised it's not like Sheffield and West Brom that are there with it, like it is in real life. Because Tottenham are doing quite well, and so are Villa at the moment. I mean... Look at their 7-2 win to Liverpool. So that actually surprises me. I'm not going to bother doing the training session. I'm just going to get straight into the game. Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and we're just moments away from kickoff time. Stay tuned for the live action. Oh, never mind, I can't skip it. I was going to skip it, but... It already skipped before I went to skip it. We're at London Stadium again. We're not at Craven Cottage. Is that Fulham's stadium? Is that Watford's? Craven Cottage is Fulham. Yeah. And now that I think about it, I think it is. Thanks, Derek. Yeah, really looking forward to both teams producing entertaining football. Let's see if we get that. Well, Point in my last three games for uh, Akintoni. Well, hey, in particular, what do you expect to see from his game? In well, a sharp performance, that's for sure. Because West Ham really are shit. We know that, but he's also really good I mean, Antonio's not that bad, but, post, but he also likes the West Ham aren't really playing that badly recently. Compared to last season. We don't need to watch that. A game that should be full of entertaining moments, and it's West Ham United who begin. 
That's because we're at our stadium. Well, the defending needed to be a bit more switched on than that. Chances on. In it goes. An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. At this point, I think that celebration well, you again, are you're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions and never in any real doubt he'd finish that cool and composed so the match has restarted 1-0 here number 30, I think by next episode the um, difficulty will be up to a little bit it's with Onguisa. I don't really think winning like 5-0 or whatever, every game is going to be realistic. Rui Diaz. Possession one. Antonio. And he might be through here. And a goal! The quick one, two. And they've turned... Go, this celebration two. again. Well, let's look at this again. Magical football on the break. Surprise is the key. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. So, 2 0 now. Goal for West Ham United, number 30. Crazy, but the West Ham facing Fulham. Is that really a surprise that Fulham are already 2 0 down within the first 10 minutes? Suchek, oh, getting the ball forward. He's in with a chance. A 1v1 situation and the goal. That was, that was close to 3 0. Really good experience there. You say that was close, really but yeah, that was close to 3 0. Payet. The cut back. No problems grabbing hold. Actually, weird to play Thief 21. Considering that we haven't been having fans in the crowds, it's actually weird to see the like stadiums with crowds in it now. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's the goal, Ray. Uh, why do you have to call offside? Why do you have to mug me off like that? That's what I'm on about there, where it bounces off the player and then you can potentially get a goal from it. Can he put it in? Able to get his body. Oh, I can't put it in. Splendid tackle, and the outcome is a corner here. Firing is in. Another goal! That was a good goal, to be fair. Do this celebration again. Well, there's nothing the keeper can do there. He looks up, and he's gone over his head. He's hit the bar, and he's in. What a goal! Yeah, with how the ball goes in, it sort of reminds me of that Lanzini goal we scored against Tottenham in the last year. Like, where it just bounces off the crossbar. Well, there's nothing better. Plus, it wasn't that far out or far in. Total satisfaction. But it still reminds me of that goal, just because how the ball like bounced off the crossbar and shit. Is this going to be a thrashing? Three nil now. We've already won. Darida. Well, the defending not the best here. And unable to keep the ball. He made it look simple, really. That should have been a foul. Tete. Lookman Darida. That was a full on foul. Well, can they exploit the space out wide? Oh, this referee wants to be a Alan. 
Oh no. Apparently, because when I get offside, he likes to call that offside, but as soon as someone fouls, oh no, that's not a foul. Turns a blind eye to people fouling, but as soon as I get offside, he's like, oh, that's offside. Don't get about FIFA. Tremendous block. Corner kick played in. Well, couldn't keep it. Declan Rice. So Boss Loy. Oh god, this referee is licking fucking Fulham's ass here. Teammate available. I like scoring again with Antonio, don't I? Well, the replay. That I, I always score so prolifically the with the striker. Strike. Uh, I think when I did it with FIFA 20, this sort of series, it was mainly Haller that was scoring. Now it's um, Antonio. Lemina. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Let's try and score with someone other than Antonio. Try and get a Suchek goal. Let's try and get him to celebrate with potato salad as well. No. How dare you, Fulham player. How dare you disrespect the king like that. End product or not. King Suchek. Where well, hey. That's what we should call him now on. King Suchek. Rui Diaz. Darida able to close down the shot. On to Jack. And he keeps going. Oh. Unable to keep the ball that time. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Oh, a whole two Lookman. minutes. I don't actually think I've ever been in a game where both halves haven't like had extra time added on. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. He's in with a chance. It has to be surely. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is a you would see quite a lot of this celebration. We're seeing it. See the replay and look at the pace at which the counter attack happens. And still, with lots to do, he unleashes a very powerful effort, gave the keeper little chance. Lovely goal that was. That was a quick kick off. As soon as you touch the ball, the referee just blows a whistle. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. He's asking plenty of questions of the defenders late. Yeah, I bet the keeper is sick of the sight of him. He's been peppering that goal from all sorts of angles, as you can see. Good goals to boot as well. A game that should be full of entertaining moments, and it's West Ham United who begin. Well, the defending needed to be a bit more switched on than that. Chances on. I'm surprised the referee didn't call that first goal as offside. Usually that's what happens. He sees our players as like a centimeter off from the half. Oh no, that's offside. The other player team does it to us. Around? They're like, oh no, let's turn a blind eye to it because why not? Not much defensive cover there on the flank. It'll be a corner. Elects to go short. Crisp tackling. Breaking at pace. He's in behind. A counter attack at pace. Why is Shabazz like? Why? Well, in order to play like this, you do have to have speed in your team. And they have. And they weren't far off there, were they, Derek? He 
Ivan Cavaleiro. Whether the games feel like they go on for longer now. Brian. Well, Real Madrid have been very busy on the transfer front. They've assessed their target, Lee, and they've got him. A reported fee of around £80 million. Pounds. Huge amount of money. Responsibility on a player's shoulders with that sort of price tag is huge. But he's a huge player. Big personality. Darida. Ivan Cavaleiro. Won it back. I just say after this game, like, difficulty's definitely being turned up. That's one of the things I want to do before I end this video. Turn up the, um, the difficulty. It is not normal to be winning 6-0 every game. Possibly more. Like, this is not normal. Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of deception to get past the defender. And it's good, solid technique to get his header on target. But it's only because of the lack of challenge from the defenders. Really poor, that is, I have to say. Well, as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Darida. That's the point where I can just lay back a little bit He's and, us away. and relax. Point where I can just go on holiday and still win the game. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you. We've got Southampton. It's West Ham United facing. That'll be a good game. Yeah, that looks a great match. Get off next episode. Some fast flowing football there. He could pick out a teammate. That's going to be offside. Well, the offside flag has been raised. No goal. Well, it was close. glad it is offside, to be honest. I'm scoring too many goals with Antonio. And he's made headway. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. I mean, it's not. It's just West Ham having a really shit pass. Pretty alert defender, is it? On Guisa. And room now out on the wing. Well, that's not textbook defending. Chance to finish. Tremendous block. Ah, that's a good block there, Stevens. Well, it was a menacing attack. Now you know why I chose Stevens. And he read it well. People might be thinking, oh, why did he sign Jack Lost Stevens from Southampton? He's a good defender. I'm not saying that just because I've met him. He genuinely is a good defender. I'd be saying the same thing if I didn't meet him. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Terrific block there. So a personnel change then. I think Al Jacobs just sent me the dictionary definition of egotistical after telling me that that's what he's going to start calling Arthur. Like, like, thanks for telling me, but I already knew that egotistical was self-centered and all that, because, you know... And somehow got well, in English. Unlike Alzubi. I'd add that dig in there, because why not? We all know that uh, X Alzubi is a balland anyway. So. Why not add in the fact that I've got a higher GCSE grade in English? Uh, Despite the fact that I didn't have the choice whether I did my GCS of the <laughs> cough cough corona. A very complicated catch for the keeper.
Really getting stuck in defensively. Onguisa. Raul Rui Diaz. Might be able to set up the chance. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. And now the delivery. The fist of the goalkeeper. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Oh, Good pass, but this is probably going to be considered offside, isn't it? And it's there for him. Deary me, a golden chance missed. It might come back to haunt him. Well, I think it's going to stay 6-0 now. Time. I highly doubt we're going to make it 7. Ooh, then this difficulty is definitely going up. Going up anyway, but... Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous... They always add on three minutes. Like, it's unnecessary to add that amount of time onto a game. He'll take this on. Still alive. If there are about 500 fouls, and, like, everyone was toe-punting each other in the neck, then I would understand here. why and this Antonio. would be, and like, three minutes of added time. It's just unnecessary. So a game where there's been no fouls, or like no yellow cards or anything. Well, let's do a post match interview. Because why not? Yeah. I haven't really done any of them. So it's good to do a few post match interviews. Just a couple of questions for you. A couple of questions for you. If I signed a player, doesn't mean I'm gonna like put them on straight away. So let's check out our subs bench real quick. Um, I'm gonna put take him off. Uh, let's put uh, Armstrong on because he might start crying if I don't put him on. Uh, let's put Kelleher around about here. Just then. in fact, let's put him on the bench. Because he's younger than uh, Randolph, so it's probably best to put the younger player on, even though they are lower rated. Um, I don't know who else to put on, really. Uh, yeah, what I'll do is I'll change Bellingham to either... A, yeah, I'll save that. Uh, I'll either change Bellingham to a CAM or a CDM. Because uh, you can do that in this game now, if you didn't know. Where is Bellingham? There he is. A development plan. Alright, let, let's see what takes last time. Alright, CDM take. Oh no. CDM takes 83 weeks. Cam to well, I know what I'm doing. Cam, two weeks, bomb bomb. Don't know what that was for, but don't know why I turned into a raster man there. But uh, how many centre backs do we have? Fucking up. There's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Um, let's try and change this guy. That's probably our best bet, because he's our youngest. Let's go left back. Uh, let's do... In fact, let's add Cardosa to the uh, transfer list. Same with Elise. Uh, 
I mean, I don't really know if these two really count because they're on loan. But yeah, if we're including them, then it's 10 centre backs we've got on the team currently. Discarding them, it's 8. We've got quite a few centre mids as well. Um, let's see if. Co oh, wait, I've already put him on loan. Let's put him on transfer instead. Because loan's clearly not working. I'm going to put him on a development plan, but not a, you know, different position development plan. Uh, how has this guy got a 5 star, 5 star? Like, he's 16 and he's got a 5 star, 5 star. You're having a laugh. Right, let's put him on Shadow Striker plan. I'm going to put this guy on loan as well, or transfer haven. Right, let's check out the uh, transfers everyone's made. Yeah, see if like... Uh, let's just see if like Mbappe is signed with like City or something. Oh, Everton's got rid of Calvert Lewin. Oh, when I saw Antonio on the floor, then I thought he got injured. Ah, my heart went then. Oh, Leicester have got Zinchenko in. Should be a good signing. And uh, Sporting CP. Do I accept this? Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to accept it, to be honest. Doesn't really surprise me that Man United have got Marquinhos. I mean, they always get him. They've got a player called Blind. <laughs> They've solved Lingard. Southampton have brought in a player called Bender. That just shows the uh, childish sense of humour I've got that I'm laughing at a football player called Bender. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to look at how many um, players I've brought in and how much for. Imagine going from Marseille to Crystal Palace. Well, let's check all the latest deals here. Right, who's sold for the most so far? Well, we know who sold for the least. And it's all these little free agent players. Who sold the most? Uh, Nabry. Gnabry, however you pronounce his name. Oh, Gomez has gone to Palace. And Neves has gone to Juventus. Or Piemonte Calcio, if you want to be a bloody technical bellend about it. Inter are getting some good players. So are Barcelona as well. Why do I have a feeling that Bayern Munich are probably going to be, like, really good? Or they're probably going to sign, like, the best players. 
Oh, it'll be good to see Alaba at Spurs. There he is, good old blind. I say imagine going from Marseille to um to Crystal Palace, but imagine going from Marseille to Brighton, that's even worse. Uh, that was like Lalana going to Brighton from Liverpool. Like imagine like winning the league to pretty much getting relegated. Yeah, there's some good players uh, up there in the top sold list. Uh, but anyway, let's do this. I thought it was going to say that um, City have signed someone there. Six um, notifications. If it's any transfer offers, then it's probably going to be a bit too late there, pal. Um, I haven't really changed my mind. I've just put you on the transfer list. Same with you, mate. Yeah, uh, good for you, Elise. Same with you, Cardosa, you fucking balland. Right. Not really bothered about those two notifications. Who's the highest rated player here? Probably gonna be up for yeah, one of the fifty eight ones. They're both weight wingers, surprisingly. Right, anyway, uh, I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure you remember to subscribe as well. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.